that guy's poverty is a bastard. Hey, God do. God do. Ah, you guys. <laughs> Let me start by laughing. <laughs> this is funny. Sorry I'm laughing, but I wouldn't want to find myself in this situation. But honestly, poverty is a person. The things people are do things things people are doing for money. <laughs> Have you heard that song? Have you heard that song? <laughs> Some ladies, hey, people be shitting on them because of money. Hey, okay, guys, that's not what we are talking about. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me again, your girl, Kami. So now, there was a man from Kenya. His name, I can't remember, but he was arrested for stealing a flask. Okay, guys, for those of you who don't know a flask, let me show you. <laughs> For stealing a flask, this is a flask. For those of you who don't know, a thermos flask. For stealing that, guys, and for stealing three plates. I believe most of you know how plates look like. But if you want, <laughs> I can show you how a plate look like. A flask. Guys, let me show you the plate too. So that uh, plates, one, two, three. Three plates and a flask, eh? Flask landed this man, this Kenyan man. Hey, my brother, why? Eh? Eh, landed him into jail now, guys. So, guys, yeah, the man from Mombasa, Kenya, was arrested for stealing a flask, a thermos flask, and three plates. And the mother asked him about it, and the guy now was defensive in a way that he actually took a machete. A panga. I don't have a machete here. I would have shown you how I made. Mean. But most of you know how a machete looks like. And a, a rod. How do we call a rungu? I don't know, Kenyans. <laughs> In the comment section. How do we call a rungu? You know? To, and he wanted to hit the mother because the mother questioned him. So when he was questioned, he said that he was hungry. He needed money. Eventually, if he, if he stole this uh, flask and the plates, it means he went and sold them at the second hand market, you know. Buy one or no, one plate for, <laughs> is it one? It's not even up to one dollar. Hey, poverty is a bastard. I don't know how much money he would have sold this thermos flask and three plates. Hey, whoever, you, if you're watching my video, if you bought this flask and three plates, please oh, return them back because your brother... He's going to spend three months in jail. Three months, three months. And the most painful thing is that no place, he, he, he can't be bailed, no bail, no fine, you know. Three months for stealing a thermos flask and three places. Wow, Kenya, but Kenya, they are very hard though. You people should go and arrest those big thieves, those big people that are stealing Kenyan money. All these governors and all these politicians that have been spending our money. Why are you not arresting them? Ah, ah, come on now. Three places and one flask. Now the guy will land in jail for three months. Hey, but Kenyans, you know, in Sweden. First of all, <laughs> if you are caught stealing, eh, um, for this mere, mere, mere stealing, they will not actually arrest you. That's just the truth. They will fine you, pay a fine, and they will tell you not to steal again. Even if they caught you rent handed because sometimes you might be in the shop, you know. <laughs> I've heard people being caught stealing bras at the shop. And uh, when they were caught, you just have a fine. But it's not good because some, if you do like a very big crime, you're going to be in the black record that you are a thief or you have done this and this crime. So please don't steal. Don't steal. But I know like all this mere mere crime will not land you into jail. But this man now has to serve three months in jail for stealing his mother's flask. I think what made um, uh, the judge to be strict on him is because he actually wanted to wound the mother. Because he, when the mother asked him about the, 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 the place and the flask, he defended himself. He came with a machete and a rungu and he wanted to hit the man. So unfortunately, yes, and then he has 14 days to appeal. But uh, 
I I don't know if he can appeal because who is going to read, write the appeal for him? He need a lawyer, and in this situation, the man is so poor that he's still in three place and a flask. We, we unless he gets a free lawyer that is ready to fight for his case. Hey, somebody should help this brother, please. If you have a plate, if you are in Kenya, I beg you in the name <laughs> in the name of love. Buy a plate, three plates and flask and look for this woman and go and give her because maybe this flask and these three plates, they, they, they are, uh, guys, I'm not mocking, I'm not, sorry, maybe some of you, I'm not joking, I'm just trying to give a, you know, solution. If you know this woman, please go and give him those plates if you can, wherever you are in Kenya. Anyway, guys, that is it for now. Uh, a man was arrested for stealing a flask. A thermos flask and three plates is going to serve three months in jail. So, my dear Kenyans, please don't steal flask, don't steal plates, please, because you will end up serving. It's not funny to be in jail for three months because those three months we don't know how they are going to treat you, we don't know what is going to happen to you. So, please be very careful. Anyway, guys, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. I see you again in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you think about the whole scenario. Was it fair that this man had to serve three months in jail? Do you think it's because of the plates and the flask that he had to spend three months in jail? Or is it because he was actually defensive in a way that he wanted to use the machete and the rungu to hit the mother? I would think that that was what was more offensive. I think he could have harmed his mother. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.